Rick, after uh, how well your team played against uh, the uh, Washington Capitals on Monday night, uh, and again, we know that you know it's a long season and you're going to have dips and valleys, but would you like to see a little bit of the smoothing out of you know, playing like you can for three or four or five games in a row here well, now? Well, if you go back, I mean, we played really well in Carolina, played really well in Buffalo, right? And then we, uh, we didn't play great against Seattle, but... You know, we could have tied that game up. We had a great game in Seattle, so there's been a lot be more, a lot better games than bad games. So when we have a bad game, we address it and we move on very quickly. Like more on a consecutive basis, though. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and with Nashville, I mean, they've had changes of personnel, they've had changes of coaches, and yet their DNA has always been physicality. Uh, what have you noticed? coaching against Nashville over the years? They're, they're scoring a lot more goals. They're uh, much more dangerous on the rush now. Um, and, and Bruno's got them playing a different style, but they're, they, they hang on to the puck more. Uh, they try to create more. Uh, they're still a big, you know, still a physical team, but they are, they, are, they are better offensively now than they have been. They get great goaltending every night, much like ourselves. So uh, I think he's loosened them up a little bit, and they're there. They can score. They're dangerous. Pound for pound, who's your best hitter? Who's our best hitter? Yeah. <laughs> we got a few of them. <laughs> I mean, pound for pound, and Adam, Adam uses his body. I mean, uh, Dilly Pionk, when he gets a chance, he's a very strong guy. Um, yeah, being in those guys, I guess. Neil does a lot of it for a smaller defense. But he's Didn't very, that. yeah. I listen. That's how he plays. He gets engaged in the game. He's he's very powerful on his feet. Again, not the biggest guy, but never shies away from contact. And that's that's what you really look for. Are, are they avoiding contact? Are they avoiding physicality? And absolutely not with Neil. He's he's in there every game, doing his best to get his hits in there. Do something for the team when a small guy. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We all know what to expect from Neil every night. We're never we're never surprised when he's in the middle of it. Yeah. He said he used to do way too much of it. Like growing up and stuff, he kind of had to be reined in a lot. Do you ever have to rein him in? No, no he's like he's yeah. He's probably younger. He probably chased the game a little bit, and with time, you learn. There's times you just let the game come to you, and and usually when the game comes to you, you're, you're getting more hits on. You don't have to chase all over the ice. The game will eventually come to you, and when that opportunity is there, take advantage of it. You said the root of it all is he's real competitive. Oh, he's a very competitive guy. <laughs> very competitive. And the guys stayed out same lineup tonight, or is that the plan? Or See, the, at this point, the plan is the same lineup. Okay, and you have a couple guys still dealing with the flu, then, or? Uh, yeah, it's out there. Okay. Hasn't left yet. Is there anything new with Gabe Velarde's situation? Or? No, he's working out. Um, it's slow. It's slow coming around, but uh, he, he's not skating in the next couple of days, from what I understand. That could change tomorrow. He could walk in here tomorrow and say, I feel great, let me go on the ice. So, at this point, we're keeping him off the ice until he tells us that. Sure. Two, two shutouts in the last three games. I mean, what does that say about your commitment to defense? And obviously, you didn't like the game in Vancouver. but Yeah, but yeah, that's that's our that's our bread and butter. We, we keep the puck out of our zone. We create offense from good team defense. We're creating a lot, uh, both in the Seattle game and last game. We had a ton of chances. We were, we're always about trying to minimize the chances against. Good. All right.